Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great and I'm bringing you a little one-off video. This is a response to Cassiotis of the Mizuma Games channel. He recently posted a challenge to the Redstone community for doing a door that looked like this on its close and like this on its open. If you'll notice here, we've got a different type of block in the middle and then it is completely seamless on the open. Okay, so you don't see that middle block at all. And I did post a solution to it. And let's take a look at that one real quick. So here we go. This is my final answer to the challenge that I submitted to Mizuma. And if you look here, hopefully I can hit that. There we go. You see how the mechanism works a little bit. You go in, you check. Yep, there we go. And then you come back out and you're all done. You see another one over there. And we will get to that in just a moment because this one is a little bit slower and a little bit fast or uh, bigger than I really wanted it to be. You can see some of the mechanics here. There is a triple piston extender that is by Mizuma himself as well as just your standard piston. So we pull back the sides right there and right there. And then we've got a little bit of a piston tape kind of thing going at the bottom to move the, the center block out of the way. And then a real basic triple piston extender without any retraction on the bottom there to move that whole middle section back in place so you can see how the opening sequence goes all right and then closing sequence okay now I told you that I didn't like the how big the thing was and that it is a little bit slower than I really wanted so I came over here you notice that I changed up the bottom piston extender you see that there's so many blocks required for that and then the timings it just it's it is pretty bad and uh, I found a way to make that a little bit smaller a little bit quicker as well and then also instead of having two separate lines running up for the side layers I have one line running up right here and that drives these two this piston right here and it goes over to this piston right here which opens and closes these three on the side so it, it shortens the amount of wiring that has to be done and so you just come here a little bit a little bit faster not so much on the open but a little bit faster on the close and uh, so yeah that I did not get that done before the end of the challenge this was my challenge video but I'm going to give you a link to the world download in the description box below feel free to check that out and if you want to feel free to compact this some more I know it's it's, pro it's got more potential to be compacted it's certainly not the most compact but I'm still learning so if you have any suggestions for making this even smaller that would be great but I really do like the mechanism uh, as the first thing that came to mind was that triple piston extender pushing that central central column down and then just taking care of the sides as you would normally so let me know what you think love to hear your thoughts and comments and suggestions down below but uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.